What's going on everyone? I'm Brian and I am making this series because one of the most basic things about using Visio is also one of the most confusing things about Visio and that is dealing with those connectors. How do they work? Why are they at right angles sometimes, not at right angles other times? How do you control the shape? So all of that is going to be explored in this series. So if you want to find out more Go ahead and hit subscribe, like, whatever the case may be. I don't really know the algorithm any more than I know what's going on with this mustache. It's November. I'm going to keep it for now, but by the end of the series, it may be shaved off. So let's get going. So we'll keep things very simple as we start out with this introductory lesson in the series. And we'll start with a static connector. So I've got a very basic diagram. And to show you this, it's helpful to use something like a diamond, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But let's explore what a static connector is and what it does. So very easy to drag two shapes onto your Visio canvas. And now in the tools, I'll select the connector, and then the connector looks like this. So now I see the highlighting around the entire shape, or I can put the pointer next to one of the buttons, one of the connection points on the shape itself. When I put it next to the shape itself, I'm making a static connection. So I'm gonna drag this over here, and when the green highlighting goes away, I will glue it to that connection point. Now, the static connector means that no matter where I move this thing, and this thing is the second shape in my diagram, I'm gonna switch back to the pointer tool using the keyboard shortcut. And so I'll drag this around. Notice that that connection point always is gonna to point to that connection point. They're always going to be glued together. So if I move it there, or if I move it there, or even behind the shape, notice that that is the connection point statically connected to that connection point. So there we go. That is a static connector in action. Now let's switch over to a dynamic connector. Now I can get rid of this by selecting the shape and deleting the shape, or I could delete just the connector itself. I'm going to go back to the connector tool, and the reason why this is a little bit confusing is because there's no difference between a static and a dynamic connector up here as you're selecting your tools. But where you click makes a big difference. So now this time, I'm not going to select one of the connection points. I'm just going to select the shape itself. So again, the green highlighting tells me everything that I need to know about whether this is a static or a dynamic connection. So I'm going to click there and then click and drag, and I'm going to let go when I am gluing this connection to the shape. Again, there's nothing in the interface that says, hey, you're making a dynamic connection, but that's indeed what you're doing. So now when we look at this diagram, it looks exactly the same. If I deselect everything here, you wouldn't be able to tell whether this is a static or a dynamic connection. But when I move my diagram around, it does make a big difference. So now notice, here that the connection point is there to the shape, but if I move it up here, notice that this, this rectangle is connected to the bottom of the diamond. If I move it over here, you can see that each and every time I drag this around, the connection points between the two shapes, the relationship is dynamic and it's not static. So now here's where it perhaps gets even more confusing, even more confusing that is, unless you find a video like this one that helps clear things up. So I'll get rid of this connection, which is a dynamic connection, but we would have no way of knowing. And here's an instance where you can combine the two. So in this case here, I'm going to choose the connector tool and I am going to use this connection point and drag it to the shape. So the shape, is highlighted in green, and I've now glued that connection point dynamically to the shape. So when I go back to my pointer tool and start dragging around, no matter where I drag this diamond, the connection point to the diamond may change, but it's always gonna originate at that location. How do I know? There we go, test it out. You see the changes that are made to the diagram. So that's it for now. I've made this series for people with short attention spans, but we will build on these skills as we go. And by the end, you will be a genius, a certified guru when it comes to the connections in your Visio diagrams.